Idaho State football won in Doe in Big Sky play, but putting that undefeated mark to the test against the class of the conference at the University of Montana on Saturday. Montana not atop the Big Sky so far this year, currently fifth out of the conference's representatives on the FCS Top 25, as the Grizz enter Saturday's matchup 18th in the nation. That's after a surprising 28-14 loss at Northern Arizona last weekend. Washington Grizzlies Stadium among the biggest home field advantages in all of college football. The Bengals pumping crowd noise into Holt Arena during practice to prepare. Even after a disappointing start to conference play for the Grizz, Hawkins knows they're still as good as it gets. Literally and figuratively, the, the Lumberjacks poked the Bears, so I think uh, it's probably the worst time to get somebody after a letdown. I know that they're way better than they showed last Saturday. I mean, the Grizz are absolutely the Grizz. They're definitely still the Grizz on defense. If you look at how NAU scored off of the turnovers and the exotic plays, I mean, on offense, they didn't, weren't able to do a whole lot. Grizz head coach Bobby Houck not shying away from maybe taking a shot or two at the Bengals, saying he's seen plays like Josh Alford's forced fumble, quote, a hundred times. Also, when asked about Idaho State's kicking game, Houck says it's, quote, got a bunch of different stuff. Here's what Hawkins said in response. Bobby's because of the emphasis he's put on it and the ability that Montana's always had to recruit, they don't have to do things different because they're so dang good. I mean, I mean, seriously, you look at, okay, their punter, he's going to put it inside the 10 every time. Awesome. And their kicker is going to kick it out of the end zone all the time. You know, I mean, they haven't probably been as consistent with field goal kicking as they want this year, but they've always had the best specialist that comes down to a talent piece. I think we have some good talent, but no one on our team from a specialist standpoint had played before this year. Right now we're trying to build those successful experiences, but we got to find a way to compensate for what we got in the room and those guys have done a great job at being a little bit more versatile than most people are asked to be.